In this video, we're going to graph or draw a picture of the solutions to the equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. There are several ways we can do this. In this video, we will do it by making a t-table, or a table of possible values that work for x and y. How about we do it this way? Let's just pick... we can pick any values we want for x. Let's just pick 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what that means is we're going to plug in for the x in the equation these values of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's start with plugging 0 in. When we plug 0 in, we get y equals 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 3. Well, this is nice because 0 squared and 4 times 0 are both 0. So all that's left is y equals 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. And so we get the point 0, 3 on our graph. 0, 3 means 3 up, and there's the first point. Whoops. Let me undo that. i just do it this way. Our second point we wanted to plug in was 1, so we're going to replace each x with 1. So y equals 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3. Well, 1 squared is 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3. 1 minus 4 plus 3 is 0. So when y is 1... I'm sorry, when x is 1, y is 0. Let's plot 1, comma, 0, which is 1 to the right. plug in our next value. Our next value is 2. So we replace each of the x's with 2. y equals 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. Well, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And so we have 4 minus 8 plus 3. 4 minus 8 plus 3 is negative 1. So when x is 2, y is negative 1. So we'll go to the right, 1 down, and we get another point. Two more points to go to find by, again, plugging in the remaining values. Let's plug 3 in. Plugging 3 in for each of the x's, we get y equals 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 3. 3 squared is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3, and 9 minus 12, plus 3, is equal to 0. So when x is 3, y is 0. That means 3 to the right, we get our next point. One more point to test. We wanted to know what happened when x was... So again, we'll plug 4 in for each of the x's. So y equals 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 3. 4 squared is 16. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3. 16 minus 16 is 0, plus 3 is 3. So when x is 4, we find a y value of 3. 4 to the right, 3 up, we get another point. Connecting the dots give us the graph or picture of solutions to this equation. This shape is a u, and it is called a parabola. It turns out any equation that has an x squared as the highest degree will always graph to this shape of a parabola. Sometimes it's wider, sometimes it's skinnier, sometimes it's in different places, but this U-shaped parabola will always be the shape of our quadratic equations. We found this shape by plugging in values for x between 0 and 4, and then plotting our points.